everybody and welcome to Columbus Catholic High School for this mid-season Columbus Catholic Boys Basketball Report brought to you by Hawkins Ash CPAs with Columbus Catholic Boys Basketball Coach uh, Joe Konechny. Coach, mid-season report, we usually try to do these uh, beforehand but with everything else in the world going on, this was the best you and I could do to get together. Uh, but I think it's, it's pretty timely um, and we'll keep it as a 2020-21 uh, basketball talk and uh, we'll talk now about what amounts to the first half of the season. Uh, the first half of the season has you uh, in, a, uh, in a first place tie in the Clover Belt East. Uh, it has you uh, with some, uh, some interesting uh, games along the way, uh, including a non-conference game over at uh, Alma Bancroft the other day uh, where you picked up a win. Um, yeah, you look back at the first half of this year, how do you, how do you kind of grade your team? How do you categorize how your team's played so far? Well, I think we, we've learned some lessons. You know, like you said, we've played a pretty chaotic schedule, um, adding some games last minute, um, losing some games last minute, and I think everybody's in the same boat. You know, our goal coming in wasn't to win conference or to make a run in the playoffs. Our goal was to have a season, um, to make sure we do whatever we can to have a season. You know, you and I are sitting 15, 16 feet apart right now, um, so we don't put ourselves in jeopardy of, of making sure that uh, the, these young people have a season. So. Um, I'm, I'm very pleased that we've played 14 games to this point. I'm incredibly impressed with our young men who have jumped through every hoop necessary to make sure we continue to have a season. Uh, we know that it's not guaranteed that at any moment you could play against a team that, that, that has a case you know, unknowingly and, and now you're out for 10 to 14 days. Um, so that's a little bit stressful. Um, but what we've done at our school and in our program, I think we've taken a lot of precautions to make sure that uh, the exposure won't happen here, that, that if somebody does get COVID, um, that person will be out, maybe one or two others, but our program can continue. So um, you know, we, we are in a first place tie. We've had some great games, but uh, the most, most I think about is that I'm just grateful that I got to coach these boys for 14 games, and, and I pray every day that we get 10, 15 more. Uh, every year uh, in, in high school sports, you, you lose a group, you welcome in a new group. I know you and I have talked before. Uh, one of the things that you've told some of those groups in the past is that you get to be here as long as you want, they get to be here for just a, a short amount of time. It's really just a, a, a blink of an eye in, in a high school career. Um, so, uh, you know, kind of talk about that the senior group you have now. I, I look at a couple of them on, on the wall over there, um, and what you know, what the you know, you've mentioned, you know, just let's just play some games here and see how see how many games we can play. Uh, I happen to think there may be more than that, but it, it, you're right. Uh, anything can change at, at a moment. So. Talk about those guys, their place on the team, uh, their ability to their ability on the basketball court and in the classroom. Well, I, I think of them as people first. You know, those are three really good people. Um, Eden Jacobson, uh, probably one of the best athletes to ever come through here. Um, football, basketball, baseball, track, whatever he does, um, just does a lot of little things for us. You know, he leads us in scoring and rebounding, I believe. Uh, a really good athlete and just a great kid. Um, Gage Stratman, I think of leadership. You know, he's the quarterback of our football team, kind of the quarterback of our basketball team. Always in the right spot. Um, always making sure guys know to be in the right spot, uh, and really a sense of I want to leave this better than I found it. Uh, and then Jaden Nenas is similar to Gage, just uh, having his best season from a basketball standpoint. You know, he scored 22 the other night at Nielsville, um, but from a leadership standpoint, has really taken some strides. Um, goes out of his way to help the younger players to to make sure that when he leaves here, he's remembered fondly. And uh, when all three of them walk out, it's going to be a really sad day. You know, and I think about what they've gone through from, from losing their spring season to uh, having their fall season shortened. This season's been chaotic, um, but they've handled it like, like champions, man. What, whatever we tell them they got to do to continue to play, they do it. And they never complain. And uh, just a joy to be around, all three of them. Uh, you've got another interesting game tonight, a non-conference game against Wausau East. We'll talk about the Lumberjacks here in a little bit. Uh, before we do, I, I did mention uh, mid-season reports uh, brought to you by Hawkins Ash CPAs. Um, uh, you talked about it a little bit. You uh, lost here uh, to Nielsville on Friday night a week ago. Uh, you uh, regathered yourselves and then beat them at their place on Monday. Uh, Nina's had the 22 points on Monday night. Um, and then we were looking forward to a, a game against uh, Greenwood. Uh, that would have been last night, but now you get to play them later in the year, which depending on you know what happens could be you know, conference championship type of game, the way the standings uh, shake out right now. So what are some of the, the goals, uh, you know, aside from playing the games, what are some of those goals here in the second half of the conference season? Well, we want to get better each time out. You know, like you said, we lost Greenwood on Thursday. Um, Coach Garrett over at Wausau East was looking for games, and we had a gym Friday, so we're going to play Wausau East tonight. 
and we think that'll be a really nice test for us. They have some size um, that, that we could see in the playoffs, so th that'll help prepare us. We get Fall Creek tomorrow, another, I think, D4 ranked team with some size. So um, the second half, you know, we'd love to win the conference. Um, we'd love to make a playoff run, um, but those are only going to happen if we focus on today and then we focus on tomorrow. And you know, you, you and I have talked a lot about it. We, we use the brick analogy a lot around here. Like today, we're going to lay a brick. And if we lay it perfectly tomorrow, we lay another one. And at the end of the season, if we do that every day and focused on, on each little moment to make sure it was perfect, then we have a pretty cool product at the end. Um, and this year, more than ever, we're making sure that little things matter. Uh, we want to make, make sure we have a season number one. And then if those things happen on top of it, it's just a blessing. Uh, Coach, you, you mentioned it. We'll, we'll talk now about tonight's game, and then uh, we'll, we'll wrap up here. Uh, tonight's game against Wausau East. Um, uh, you know, and, and each year, you, you don't get to recruit in high school like you do in college, right? You, you are, you know, given the, the, the kids that are in your enrollment. Um, you know, this group, and, you know, maybe throughout your coaching career, there hasn't been a, you know, 6'6 six, six guy or something like that to come and <laughs> dominate inside. Uh, but, you know, your, your outside shooters kind of make up for that, and, uh, and just the pace that, that you and your guys uh, play, uh, prefer to play, uh, can certainly make up for, for that size. So what has to be done in a game like tonight where, you know, you might go up against some size and uh, you may not uh, be able to, you know, do some of the things you're accustomed to doing? Well, I think, number one, we have to rebound. You know, our, our Achilles heel at times against size has been having great possessions defensively and then giving them second and third opportunities. And if that happens tonight, we'll get beat. If it happens tomorrow, we'll get beat. Um, the second thing is offensively, we have to be more patient. Uh, if we settle for threes early in possessions, if we settle for contested shots, um, we're not going to get a lot of offensive rebounds tonight. And outside of Eden and Gage and maybe a few other guys crashing if they're playing zone. But um, I think rebounding and making sure we have extended possessions offensively where we get a quality shot every time, it's going to be very important. Uh, Coach, always good talking to you. Uh, glad we got to do it uh, this year. Glad you and your guys get to play some basketball this season. Thanks for the coverage, Jason. We, we really appreciate everything you do to make sure that our fans can watch our games. And I know you put the kids first, and we really value that. All right, guys, uh, Wausau East, Columbus Catholic, coming up next. Mm -hmm.